working on, but I have a pile of things I want to play with. So we'll do something. <laughs> I ordered from Seems So Awesome. I got their What the Fractions ruler and I think some vinyl and some canvas. Wow. So this is their waterproof canvas. Oh, Brittany's Christmas baking. Oh, I love that. This is extremely thick. And it's got like a really rubbery backing. But super sturdy. Oh, now I have a good excuse not to do housework. Same. Wow, this is crazy. So you can even see that like clear backing on the salvage, but this is super cool. You would not need to interface this. Did I get storms? We had um, just like some light, I don't even know if it was like thunderstorms necessarily, but just like rain. I had ordered some vinyl. Okay, I did not. I thought I did, but I did not. I guess I was like, no, I'm already ordering a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do housework and watch, but you don't have to do housework. Um, so this is their six by 24 inch ruler. And I've heard So Nova talk about this ruler, and they had some for sale. I was really hoping to get a smaller one um, just to keep over by my sewing machine, but they only had the 6x24 in stock. What are you guys doing? Connor's knocking crap over. Uh -huh. But it has this really cool backing. And it's like a gel almost. Hold please. I gotta figure out what Connor's messing with. Connor, get down. Get down. Man. Drop the kid off. You think you're good for the day? Rude. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, but it has this coating. It's kind of cool. I wonder if like hair will stick to it. I don't know. And there is a hole to hang it, which is awesome. So I'm excited to play with this. Only the 6x24 is the budge proof. The other ones don't, but I still own them and love them. Oh, very cool. So yeah, this is from Seems So Awesome. <clears throat> and I figured you can never have too many rulers, especially the big size that I use all the time for straps and stuff. And it looks like she sent some other goodies. In this bag. So the waterproof canvas was $34 a yard, give or take, and the ruler was $50. Aww. Ooh, 
Ooh, oh my gosh, heart-shaped bubble wrap. Incredible. I'm going to put this in a pile to reuse. So it looks like they also sent over some zipper pulls to match. These are like enamel pins, but they're zipper pulls. So they're like filled in with color and they're all black nickel. And they also sent over their What the Fractions measuring tape. How long did it take to sell all the HQ boxes? So I think they sold out last night around 7.30 or 8. Um, so just under 12 hours. And I know people were like, you said they would last. I thought they would last. We took a poll and um, I kind of based it off of who signed up for the email notifications. There were only like 250 people that did. So I was like, cool, we'll sell half. We'll have the rest for a while. But y'all proved me wrong. Thank you. Um, we may have a few that restock on Friday. But if we do, it'd be like one or two because we... Um, like to make sure we don't oversell, so we hold a few back. But yeah, I'm flabbergasted and appreciative, and we probably won't be doing anything like it again. <laughs> Monica, not shocked at all, I told you so. I know, but insane. <laughs> so this is their washi tape for seam allowance as well. Oh, Keisha, missed out. I was busy sewing a custom stocking. I know, it's... I, I'm so awful. Like, I feel bad that people missed out, but getting 500 just about done and ready was exhausting. So we are not going to be doing anything like that anytime soon unless we have, like, five months to put them together. So maybe again next year around Christmas time. Oh my gosh. Mm, insane. Way too much work. My tired is tired. <laughs> so we're going to finish shipping those out tomorrow. And that is that. <clears throat> Lisa, it is what, or it is... Seems so awesome. Ooh, ooh. An advent calendar. That would be cool, but I know a lot of people are trying to plan those. Yeah, do an anniversary box. That would be fun. Mm. Ah. Mm. And we may have... Um... Hi, Victoria. I'm glad you guys got home safe. Um, Mary, I have all the videos together for that, but like we've changed so much about it already. I feel like it'll never be ready for a tour, which I know sounds terrible, but anyway. <clears throat> so we have some of this vinyl left over. We may end up listing randomly just a few cut rolls. A vinyl, we're going to see what we can do about putting some more incomplete boxes together, but unsure if that will happen. Okay. Is this a mini MCW? Yes. So I was thinking about cutting out an NCW from all of this fabric to try and sew on my Janome. Yeah, it was great meeting you and your daughter too. It was so much fun. Oh, no. I forgot I have no hardware here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ashley. I have found that the seam guide tape works great if you're working with extra sticky vinyl. It just glides right across. Oh, very cool. Good to know, Eva. Oh, 
<laughs> you have a limited amount of anything and people on the internet go crazy. That's a fair point. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Yep. This is happening. So this is one of the vinyls from Little Stitcher Sews. And they're a perfect match. Um, so it's not a subscription box. It's just like a one-time box. But yes, it did sell out. So this is one of the water resistant canvases that comes in the box. It's really, it's not really thin, but it's thinner than waterproof canvas. So I was going to try to use this on my wallet, or not my wallet, but the wallet I'm making. Um, I thought that could be really cool. So I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm probably just gonna make a car trash can for my sister on my Janome HD9. Do you know when you'll be doing a bag making live? Um, no, I never know when I'll have the time. So I'm gonna try to sew something live today, but not sure if I'll be able to. So I've got my templates for the NCW here. So I'm gonna try to cut this out. Is my Janome an industrial? Um, it is not. The Janome HD9 is not an industrial. Um, Eileen said, what semi-industrial do you recommend? So I don't get a chance to play with a lot of sewing machines. Um, so it's really hard for me to say since I don't really like review a lot of sewing machines. I have enjoyed the HD9 that I got, but I haven't been able to use it much. Um, I did do a video reviewing the HD9, and if you read the comments on that video, you're going to get a lot, a lot of tips. I know I did. Oh, what is your favorite last minute gift? Probably the peekaboo. Brittany, you will get faster at making them. Ah, NCW is for New Year's Eve. Yes, we should totally do that. <clears throat> Um, Kim, I have not tried the HD9 on a, an NCW, but I'm going to try it. <clears throat> new year, new NCW. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use this vinyl on the under flap and then this vinyl on the front. <clears throat> This is a pretty thin vinyl. I'd say it's like one millimeter, maybe. I'm sure the website says. And this one is from a UK supplier, Little Stitcher Sews. Um, I'm not sure what version I have. I hate throwing scissors away, but those are awful. And my scissors are like unsharpenable because I drop them so often. Let's see, what else is a good last minute gift? Um, I haven't made it yet, but the poppy pouch um, by Brittany Edwards. Seems like a really good one. I would like to make one. It's on my to-do list. 
I do need to cut out a peekaboo too. I was going to gift one to the girl that watches Dorothy for me. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Oh, my friends are loving the twisted ear warmers I made for them. And frog slippers pattern. Oh, fun. <clears throat> yeah, I want to make a car trash can out of those fabrics. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but we do hope to sell this water resistant canvas. Uh, we have a bunch left over from the boxes, so we're going to sell them in like one yard cuts. <clears throat> Depending on how well it sews up. Like I have used it, but I would like to test stuff even further. Um, we had about 480 boxes, I believe. So I'm really excited to try this in the MCW because <clears throat> it's not going to require any interfacing So I think I can do regular card slots with this fabric. And do like the zipper pocket, etc. I might have to see if I have a magnetic snap laying around. <clears throat> okay, so I've cut my opening there. Uh, any tips for keeping bulk out of the seams when using foam? I would trim it down. Yes, this is thinner than the 600 denier, I believe. So yeah, after you've sewn your seam, you can take um, like little snips or precision snips and just kind of trim right past where you've sewn. And that should help. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna do the card slot backing piece. Which is eight by eight and a half. Okay, need a four by eight. Of 
inside of the zipper pocket. This is one of my favorite size rulers for the NCW because you can cut out like all of your lining pieces. Yeah, the boxes are sold out. Insane. Insane. <clears throat> Did not expect that at all. So I'm going to cut out my card slots. I feel like I need another pegboard for my rulers. <clears throat> Alright, so this ruler is 16 and a half by 16 and a half. It is from Creative Grids. And I got this from my local quilt shop, uh, Warm and Cozy Quilting, because of the NCW. Like, it's absolutely perfect. For the card slots. Pretty sure I need a new blade. I hit the order button for the HQ box within 45 seconds of it being listed. Oh, thank you. Seriously, so much. It is mind-blowing to me how many of them we sold. I, like I said, I swear we had planned for at least a week's worth. But thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> thank you. I love your videos. Watching you cut and interface while talking it out is extremely helpful. Oh, thank you. Can't wait for my box. I'm going to put it under the tree for the 25th. Ah! Okay, so this is 16 by 16. Um, the right side of this actually is a little bit lighter in color. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see that little bit of sheen this has, and this has more of a texture to it. So in case you're wondering which is the right side. Although I don't know that it super matters because it's not like the waterproof canvas where one side is textured and one side is super smooth. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, turd sickles. <sighs> I haven't made the card slots for the NCW in a while. Is it... 2.7, oh no, it's two and a half, 1.75, 2.25, 1.75, 2 2.25, is that correct? Does anyone know? Oh, Dana, you underestimate our love for all you do. Oh. Yeah. Okay, two and a half. 1.75, 2.25. It sounds right. I think last time I did like 2.75 and that did not work out. Two and a half, 1.75. Okay, thank you. 2.25, okay. Um, make sure you guys buy the pattern. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to use a pen.
Frederica. You can also use um, like a folding method. I know a lot of people like to make little pressing guides and stuff like that. But this seems to be working out pretty well. So essentially what I'm doing is making sure I've got my fold lines in the right spot, but I'll probably have to press these, yeah, we're good, um, using my iron. And normally I like to use 809 on my card slots just because that also gives it a nice crisp edge, but with this water resistant canvas, I don't necessarily have room for added bulk so this feels right now like a cotton with 809 which i'm really excited about <clears throat> so i'm going to measure eight inches from either side which if i measured correctly should be exactly the same but sometimes it's not So it's off by like maybe an eighth of an inch, but that's okay because I'll cut on those lines. So there are my card slots and I'll, when I iron them, I'll make them look a little nicer. <clears throat> Turn my heat press on. So I've got my card slots, my card slot backing. So then I just need the zipper pocket and another zipper pocket lining piece. I'm not gonna be interfacing anything but the flap. I'm gonna be adding like Decoville light and some Decoville heavy where the snap goes. And that's honestly about it. Okay, so I need eight by seven and a half for my zipper pocket. And that's why this eight and a half by eight and a half ruler is a must when you're making NCWs. It's like all the measurements you need in one little ruler. And I'm thinking for one side of this, the slip pocket, I think I'm going to use the navy just to add some color blocking and kind of mix it up a little bit.
Yeah, I think that's gonna look really pretty together. So there's my lining pieces. And then the all of these stacked together still don't feel super thick or bulky. So I don't think the HD9 is gonna have any issues with this, which is very exciting. getting a bin together to put everything in. <clears throat> I always like to stack things together. So this is all my card slot pieces. This is my zippered pocket. This is my lining piece here. Oh my gosh, I need to clean down here so badly. <laughs> Is there any way to get creases out of vinyl? I got a package that was mangled in the vinyl, has some awful creases. Um, I've heard people have thrown it in the dryer to kind of help warm it up. You can also warm up your ironing board and then lay the vinyl on top, or you can use a pressing cloth and just gently, gently steam the vinyl with the wrong side facing down or the right side facing down and the wrong side touching your iron. Um, Bitter Rainbow said, try ironing from the back with no steam. And if you have a heat press, you might be able to throw it on there as well. Okay. So it's eight and a half wide. So I'm going to measure 4.25 in the center and one inch up. And that is where my magnetic snap is going to go. And I have a bunch of scraps of like so fuse plus, etc., sitting here. I always like to keep some nice sized scraps for NCW's wallets, etc., just to help stabilize certain areas. So this vinyl is pretty thick, as you can see. So I'm not going to add any interfacing to it. I don't think it would benefit me in any way. Um, I want this wallet to be not too stiff and bulky. You want it to have some stretch as people add card slots, etc. You know, as ca add cards, etc. You want it to be able to kind of stretch a little bit. Not a lot but a little bit. So I'm gonna interface this area. And this is where I'm going to be adding like my nameplate and the magnetic snap. So I wanna add some strength. I order all of my waterproof canvas from FWD and it, um, and I love it. I ordered vinyl from them and it came folded. Oh no. I would honestly email them and let them know because uh, they can't know unless people tell them. Um, and that's actually something even with my own business we're going to do this year is send out like customer survey emails. Because we want to make sure that we're doing the best we can for everybody. <clears throat> and I know me personally, if I don't have anything nice to say, I'm not going to say it. But if somebody asks for my opinion, well then maybe I'll, maybe I'll share. <laughs> okay. So my heat press is still warming up. So I'm going to go ahead and work on cutting out my trash can, car trash can, just got to find the pattern here in this pile of papers somewhere.
<laughs> how Midwest of you. Okay, so this is the pattern for the car trash can. I'm not sure, I'm sure everybody here has downloaded it and understands, but in case you're new to it, there's an also cut list up here and that is for the body of the bag. But other than that, this is it. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna be making this from vinyl for the exterior and then from this water resistant canvas for the lining. So I'm not going to need um, any interfacing. And I figured this canvas is lightweight enough that it's not going to be a bear to try to turn, etc. All right, so I need to cut 15 by 13. So I'm going to get this lined up here. Um, some people like to cut long ways one way or like turn it so it's deeper versus wider. And I think I'm going to try to make some that are deeper than they are wide. I think that's a fun idea. I've worked in customer service for over 30 years. If customers don't say anything, problems can't be fixed. Absolute facts. And like, you never need to have an attitude about the problem, but, you know. All right, 15 by 13. So I've just measured one edge and now I'm realigning with the other. I should say I've lined up two sides and now I'm lining up the other two sides. So if you're new to cutting stuff out and you wanna know an effective way, this could be it. Um, so normally I have the pattern going this way. So it's 15 here and 13 here but we're gonna turn it this way now instead. Um, we are working on the car trash can. I was cutting out an NCW. I still need to interface it, but I figured while it's going, I'll just do this. And then I'm gonna cut out the two by two corner. So to make that go faster, I've just folded my piece here in half so that I can get to both corners at the same time. Hi, Madeline. We are cutting out a car trash can. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so there is one side and now you could use your rotary cutter, etc., to cut out the next one, especially if you like or need to have those really nice clean lines. However, you can also lay right sides together and kind of clip this together. And cut out the next one. I'm faster at cutting out with scissors than I am a rotary cutter sometimes. So that's why I like this method. And like once you sew this together, I don't know. This always just seems to be faster for me. And like both don't have to be perfect because you're putting right sides together. If that makes any sense at all. So... So long as you have your well cut one on top, you just follow the seam allowance for that. And then when you're putting it together, no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. Anyway. And then this is our lining, so we're gonna have to leave a turning hole. Um, what am I using this one for? And you could leave the turning hole open on the side if you want. I've seen people do that. I'm just so used to it being on the bottom 
So I'm just making some marks here at the bottom so I remember that's my turning hole. It doesn't even clip. Awful. Ugh. Thank you, Madeline. I can't believe that we, they're gone. Ow, what, why? Don't understand. <laughs> All right, my heat press is fully warmed up. So now I can get my interfacing on the NCW. Yeah, I'm so excited. Everyone is excited for the boxes too. Um, I am top stitching a bag while watching you and my bottom thread of my Juki is looping. Uh, I have hanged needle, played with tension. I'm so frustrated. Oh no. Um, you may want to just try to re-thread the top and make sure your needle is just right. I remember many moons ago I was top stitching a bag and my needle wasn't in just right so that kept happening. So I hope that helps. So I'm remarking the center of my flap. <clears throat> and we're going to find the center of this piece as well. And then I think I measure like two inches down from the top for my magnetic snap. All right, so that is the NCW done. Um, so I'm gonna cut out my arms. For the car trash can. So I'm finding my fold line. Trace this out if you want. So there's the top. And then for the other side, you just do right sides together. And literally all I'm gonna do is lay this on top and cut it out. Oh, 
I don't need to measure both because I have one that's cut nicely. Get on. Honestly, you don't even have to cut this part out now. You could wait until the end, but we'll do it while we're here. So there's our arms. And then I need to figure out what my sister would like. <laughs> I'm tempted to just make it for myself because I don't know that she'd be into this. It's pretty, but it's not her, you know? Hi Cindy, hi Alex. Sitting in the Joe and parking lot waiting for them to open. Too fun. Oh, your partner's learning to sew. That's exciting. Nothing better than like sharing an interest. Mm -hmm. What would Emily like? Green. Just green. Hi, Tori. Let's see. I thought this would be fun. Oh, you can't see that. Uh, Karina said, for the lining of the car trash can, I use tablecloth, the one that feels like plastic or wax. It's way cheaper than fabric and easy to clean. That's a good tip. I oh, love your top. Is it a sweater or a sweatshirt? It's from Aerie. I think it's like a sweatshirt. Hi, Pamela. I have this print. This one is from Little Stitcher Sews website as well. Um, hmm. I think this one's just Disney all over. Yeah, okay. I don't know if she'd be into that. I have this one from Carissa, Needle and Anchor, but I don't think the navy will go with it very well. Animal Crossing, Tangled. I don't think she'd be into those. Golden Girls, my fabrics from Madeline. Got some other vinyls I could potentially use. I'm just gonna use the UV reactive flowers I have already out. It's because I don't think she'd care. I do want to use this one though. This is the smoother, thinner vinyl that we have on the website sometimes and this one's coming next year i don't know if she'd like it but it does go with the navy She likes Doctor Who. She would love it, you know. She likes Harry Potter. 
because she likes flowers. You think these two together? Hmm. I can also cut one of each. Make one for myself and one for her. <laughs> She's like, which one do you want? Which one will you use? All right, I'm done with my heat press, so I'll turn that off. Uh, I'm gonna go with the flowers. I think Valora will enjoy watching it change colors in the sun. <clears throat> okay. So we want to measure 15 by 13. So I've got three sides nice and measured, so I'm going to flip it around, re-measure, and cut my final side. Man, you really got to settle this ruler before you dive in. Because this one is like non-stick, but, or non-skid, non-slip, <laughs> non-skid. Again, we'll cut out our corners, and I am making it deeper than wider. I think we'll sew this up really quick and then I will hop off. I want to film sewing the NCW. For a future video. I just don't want to hide that in a live since so many people have asked how the Janome HD9 does on an NCW. And then again, I've got one side cut well. I don't need both to be absolutely perfect. You need it to be close. time saver doing it this way is I've already got it clipped together. <laughs> How perfect. <clears throat> Alright, I've got my exterior, my lining, and my arms. I've got Velcro over by my machine. So we can head over there. Put my scissors away my pattern away. Uh, where did I get my cutting mat? This is from Amazon. It is 58 by 36, I believe. My husband bought it for me for my birthday one year. Which was so nice of him. on over to Janome.
And then um, Carrie at Carrie So Unique sent me um, a huge goodie box of accessories for the HD9. So thank you again so much. And that is Carrie So Unique in Whitewater, Wisconsin. Um, she's got a shop out there. So if you're in the area or even if you're a bit of a drive, totally worth it to check it out. So I'm going to wind a bobbin. The thread that I'm using is a Tex 40. My child woke up this morning in full pterodactyl mode. He's finally ready for a nap and I might join him. I support that. Okay. Bobbin automatically stopped when it was full. Hello, Margaret. Merry Christmas to you. I feel so awkward with this machine still just because I'm not used to it yet <laughs> and I'm not used to domestic machines honestly I'm not used to any machine that isn't my juki okay so I don't want too much tension there I think I threaded that wrong. Try that again. Go down. Up. And around. Through the tip. I definitely need to sit down and take inventory of my hardware BN because I have a nice, nice gift card from my husband for my birthday. Oh, yay. Too bad he waited until after I bought the box. Oh, no. Um, which Juki did you use? So this is the Janome HD9. And over there I have the Juki 2000 QI. And it's just not a very strong machine. I think the 2010 is stronger. <clears throat> but I really didn't buy that for having a strong machine. I wanted something that could handle really thin fabrics. Um, but I really wanted to try this machine because I've heard a lot of great things about it. And people ask me for machine recommendations all the time. And I don't really know. I have the one machine that I use every day and that's enough you know it's not enough but it's what I know oh my gosh it's such a small needle there we go I believe this machine does have an automatic threader I'm just not used to these things <laughs> Yeah, it does have the automatic rudder. Um, 
let's go ahead and try out the Ultra Glide foot. Um, we aren't really going to be stitching much on the vinyl, but it couldn't hurt. What I want to know is the distance allowance on the pressure foot. All right, let me find a ruler. Yeah, right. Um, it looks like three quarters of an inch, give or take, maybe just over half an inch. Oh, I, I don't know what machine you should get. I came late, I'm at work. Don't get in trouble at work. Yeah, this is the foot everyone said to get. Um, and they said it's better than the walking foot or the even feed foot because it's so compact. All right, let's just, let's get started. Okay, right sides are together. I'm just gonna make sure that my needle isn't in crooked or anything and risk hitting something I shouldn't. And on this machine, there's a button you can set to have up or down, which is great. And you can set the speed on this machine, which is nice. Okay, I'm just checking out my stitches. Everything looks great. And then I like to back stitch at those corners to help reinforce. I'm just so used to a walking foot. So what the walking foot does, I'm sure you guys know, but it has teeth on the top, so it even feed. It pulls the layers together, but with a, a regular foot, the it just sits there, you know? It's not helping move the fabrics along. So what they need to do is come up with a, a very thin walking foot for this machine. And then I think I'd be like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> if you're looking for a strong domestic for bag making. Because like as I'm sewing with it, I can hear the power that it has. Like, it's eager to work. Okay. Let me grab my scissors. <laughs> it's cute to see you on a domestic. I have the Juki 1020Q and I love it. It does struggle in really thick areas. I have to hand crank sometimes. Um, we live and travel in our RV full time, so I can't get an industrial. Well, it's good that you found something that works well for you though. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm trimming down my seam allowances. Um, yes, you can backstitch with a walking foot. Is the walking foot for attachment an option? Yes, it's it's just really bulky. So that's kind of why I was saying if it came with a thinner. Because that's not going to be optimal for 
adding zippers and stuff like that. So like with my Juki, the walking foot isn't super wide, so I can install zippers with it without having to change the feet. Can you use a heavier thread? Yes. You just don't want to use the automatic thread cutter with heavier threads. Uh, I'm so used to my Juki when I had to sew the lining of my custom with my domestic brother. I felt lost. Yeah. custom Christmas stocking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to super gently use my scissors to poke out the corner. I have a turning tool, but it's not right here, so I'm just going to use what's convenient. Juki is not catching stitches right now, so I have to use my Janome 3000 HD. Hopefully I get it to work soon. Ugh. Yeah. And you may be able to contact who you purchased the machine from, and they might be able to help you. Um, I know people ask me about, like, my machine is doing this, what can I do? And I have no idea. out so I'm going to take this over to my iron press it and then I'll come back and top stitch here or the other way it's pants <laughs> I'm going to snip my center so we can line those up a little bit 
I'm just going to sew my lining fabric together. And then at the corners, I'm just back stitching and pivoting the corner to the other side. Back stitching at that turn hole. Maybe as well cut the thread and jump over. Back stitch, back stitch. Instead of cutting, I'm just going to pivot that corner to the other side. And there is a flatbed attachment for this machine. I do have it, I just don't want to use it. I have not made the tripper backpack from Sally Tomato, no. It is a super cute one though. Boxing those corners. And then I'm going to flip this right side out. like a slip pocket to the inside or the outside if you want to use this as like a little car organizer or something do that too okay i'm gonna grab a woven label this purple one that says you look really pretty today. Had no issues sewing over the seam there. It's one thing I really like about this machine, like it doesn't even sound strained. And some other machines that I've sewn on, I'd be like, lifting up to make sure my fleet and my fleam stays <laughs> my seam stays flat. Sounds like an episode of Rick and Morty. My fleam. Okay. So then this stays wrong side out. We can decide which side is which, but it doesn't matter for me. Neither print is better than the other side. So I'm gonna snip my center. 
I'm going to lay the arms in there and line up my center there. Uh, we are using the Janome HD9. I purchased this at the Sew Magical Expo from the Sewing Studio in Florida. Okay, got those basted into place. We'll put our lining in there. So this is just a really fun, quick project. Obviously it takes no hardware, which is great if you have no hardware in your house, like I do. I need to, I need to go shopping. <laughs> I miss my wall of hardware, so anytime I wanted, I could just grab what I need. Uh, now I gotta drive 15 minutes to go get it, which still isn't bad. Wayne. First, first world problems. Right. And I'm just pulling like that at all of the seams to make sure everything lines up nicely. I'll know if my exterior is too big or my lining is too big. I'm just adding clips. So nothing gets shifted. And we'll just sew around that. Mary, you need to set up a mini hardware wall just for you. I probably should. I hadn't planned on it, but I feel like I'm inconsistent enough. Because my plan was like, okay, well, I'll just cut an interface at home. I'll have to come into the office to work anyway, and then I'll get my hardware then. It has worked out, but I'm just impulsive. Hello, Sharon. How's it going? All right. So I can see that I did catch my basting stitch there. So we're good to go. I can pull this all through. So soft and like matte feeling. And these would also be cool to sew out of like all waterproof canvas and use heat transfer vinyl on or something, especially if you can't find the right fabric for someone. Or you can use embroidery. And before you sew up your lining, just double check that all of your seams look good. Um, I know some people top stitch their bag before they sew the lining closed. That's an option as well. If you are not a fan of the way it looks, just top stitch like this, you can whip stitch it closed. 
can. I promise you, no one's going to care that much. Um, yes, this is going to be a Christmas gift for my sister, Emily. I probably should make Sarah one, too. Everybody could use one. I absolutely adore when I see people post about how they're doing, like, craft shows and the car trash bag sells so well. Ugh, that makes my heart so happy that my trashy husband helped a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll send you my address. Um, so I think people usually sell these for like twenty five to thirty five. Um, I haven't made them to sell just because I don't have the time, but I think they would be really, really fun. Um, I don't have a car, so I'm that person who doesn't need it. Yeah, that's true. You could also hang it off of a chair to keep snacks in. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going over these bulky side seams and it's not having any, any issues. So this is that taller version. So you can see it doesn't flap as wide open, which is nice. <laughs> Phew! So dusty. That machine sounds nice and strong. I know, I love it. Okay, there's my micro. Um, so this Velcro is from a company called Zipper That Doll, and it is an ultra-thin double-sided Velcro, and it, it's not going to snag, which is why I love it, because it's so thin. Um, you cannot iron this, though, so keep that in mind, um, but it's pretty inexpensive as well, I think. So, comes in two colors, black and white. And I just add a fairly large piece of the Velcro just in case. You never know. Um, and then you want to make sure you've got your hook on one side and your loop on the other. And that they're also on opposite sides so that when you put it together it creates that loop and you could even add some embroidery to the arm section you could shorten the arm section if you're not a fan of how wide it is all kinds of options this is a free pattern do whatever you want um, eventually we will write instructions for it I just haven't had the time Another great thing about this Velcro or something like it is you're never going to have um, a leftover amount of hook or loop because it's double sided.
right. And that's it. I could add a label here. Um, I actually, I don't know if you guys have heard of um, the Heartwood and Hyde labels, but I ordered some from her and she's sending me a bunch. So I may need to add one of those to this before I ship it off to my sister. But yeah, that's it. It's done. And just like when I taught my Aunt Ruth here how to make one, it is customary that I wear it as if it had popcorn in it. Take it to the movies. Make one for the baby in your life that always drops food. <laughs> It's a feed bag. Exactly. So yeah, that is, that's it. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to hop off here, see what time it is. Is there a tutor? <laughs> um, I'm trying to make, do you like your tags inside or outside of the things? Um, it really just depends on what it is I'm making and what I want, but normally I like the tags inside unless it adds to the outside. Um, it's called Zipper That Doll. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions before I head out? Oh, yes, there is a tutorial for this bag. I have two of them. When time permits, right? But yeah, you can. It's pretty strong. It's not like industrial Velcro or anything like that. It is meant for doll clothes, but I, I really enjoy it. I um, wonder if we have enough sunlight. For this to change colors. Probably not. Maybe we'll take it upstairs. Since my doorbell just rang. What did we get now? Oh. It's a little tiny container. changing colors just barely maybe all right <laughs> thanks everybody for hanging out and I will see you all later